hey out there again um, today I've been looking through a lot of videos and seen a lot of interesting storage ideas for your Hot Wheels cars now again Ray Screws has his hot boxes but sadly they're only sold in America again as you can see from behind me I've got all my storage boxes I've got the Ferrero Rocher boxes I've got the tool boxes and these little boxes here now if you want these boxes here the ones that are just here these are very nice they're sold at QD stores in the UK you can I think get them online I'm not sure though but again they're QD stores and they're quite nice they come in blue red and black so again if you want Hot Wheels cars to go in there buy the blue boxes matchbox technically are sort of a reddish orange so in red and the black ones well they're just more nicer you can also get uh, little miniature versions of that which if you've got some small little cars sort of like uh, any hot rods or beetle size then you can store them in there but today I have found a new storage solution and a recycling use for your old drives now back in the day before CDs and USBs these were the most popular thing to save data on this is a floppy drive why is it called a floppy drive? well because it's sort of floppy-ish again these are now basically extinct if you show a child one of these they don't even know what they are the other thing as well is that these were very sensitive because again you can move that bit there and that's the magnet disc there that holds all the data but they came up with some nifty storage boxes and do you know what they're actually quite useful for storing Hot Wheels cars in. Look at that. I mean, how many Hot Wheels cars can you fit in there? I haven't tested this yet because I'm filming this video as we speak. So again, and they come in all different sizes. So I mean, this is sort of like probably a later one. This is the uh, Followers design. And again, it comes with a little lock as well. So if you want to keep your supers or treasure hunts safe, just take the key out and that is now secure that won't come out even though you can see there's that little locky bit there that will not break it's only when you put well, it's only when you have the key in that, that lock becomes very easy to maneuver but once the key is removed that is now officially locked and ain't going anywhere again the other thing as well is the fact that not only do they come in that size They come in this size as well. Oops. And as you can see, more storage space for Hot Wheels. Again, these are absolutely brilliant. Now, these came from my workplace. These are actually very, very hard to find because a lot of people usually keep them past wide, perhaps maybe because they've got loads of floppy drives. Again, as you can see, it's almost translucent. You can see into it from the slightly smoke grey top again this is the Atlanta ones again these are great storage boxes and again like I said lock it remove the key ain't going anywhere put the key in it will be easy to remove but again like I say though I've got uh, four of these and one additional CD case but again, even a CD case, like this one, the TKD one. Nice green, hollow top, so you can see into it. But again, very useful for storing boxed Hot Wheels cars. So if you want to hide your treasure hunts away, matches the colour. Almost matches the colour. But again, like I say though, it's a very useful storage device. Now, sadly, um, there were some of these that came on the truck beforehand however because we recycle stuff old computers and stuff these are plastic all you got to do is just remove this bit of metal and well that usually would be just hit with a hammer but again only when I was unloading the van that I looked at these and thought useful there were two others there as well but sadly they were no good for storage I took two Hot Wheels cars in in fact I took this one in the little extra he-man one and a van which was the uh, emergency blue x um, 
ambulance or van. I took that in and I tested them. The other ones were sort of like this sort of size but smaller, probably sort of like to about there. I had a spacer in the middle though that wasn't removable. They may notice in these these are little those little hole gaps. That's where you put little spacers. They came out and were lobbed. That's it. They were gone. Easy into plastic. But again, they were sadly no good because the spacer wasn't good. Also as well, they didn't have the lock on them. All they had was a simple push mechanism and lift. A difficult push and lift mechanism, but again. The other one that was there as well was some nice black cases. Sadly, they had the key. Or did no they didn't no they didn't have a key. They had the same push mechanism, but they had a ridge in the middle, which meant your cars would be at an angle and if you move them might fall over damage so not very useful but again five storage boxes for absolutely nothing there was another one i think it was like um the other big one over here this one yeah it was like the atlanta one but it was a double one it was about that big but it had a section in the middle sadly the lock had been smashed off of it and it was all broken from where other bits of plastic had been chucked on top of it again only when I saw these did I have that sudden brainwave of storage solution. Oi, I can't believe I let those other ones go. But again, now you know. So, rather than seeing old floppy disk drive holders go to waste, use them for Hot Wheels storage. And again, I will be using these for uh, general storage. And uh, yeah, they are very useful. Big as well, so they come in this sort of size. This is very old ancient floppy drive probably sort of like 1980s and these are probably sort of like 90s but again they stack as well which is brilliant look at that not very wobbly will stack beautifully in pretty much any area so all you got to really do is just look for a space that is about that sort of size slot them in stack them on top of each other and well that's it the other thing as well is the fact that, as well as it being a top loosen, you can have a look into it. Whereas most storage cases that I've seen, sort of like you can't just look inside unless you do that, with these, you can. The other thing as well is the fact that it comes with a key. Very useful. Just don't lose it. Otherwise, you're going to have to break it. If it doesn't come with a key, do not buy, because that means that, well... You can either do two things, look for a key, or, well, basically, try and find another one that has a key. But because these are quite hard to find, I haven't seen any at car boot sales. I don't know if in America, um, with the yard sales and flea markets, you find these all the time. But again, a very useful little storage solution. And again, now the other one of these I have... It doesn't have a lock on or doesn't have a key but because they're the same the key fits the same so if you find just uh, if you find a set of these but with only one key do buy them because the key should fit them make sure though that they all are the same brand again if I show you so okay we've got here the very nice fellowers and this one okay so we're gonna have that one open Okay, key comes out, stick it up there. Okay, we shall now try the Alba one. As you can see, it fits and, tur and turns. Oh, so perhaps they use the same lock again and again. Let's have a look at the key differences. <laughs> I better not, I better not uh, lose the keys. Again, I can have a look. Yeah, and other than... And their slight design, they appear to be the exact same key. Oh, so that's alright then. So again, okay, so change of plan there. So if you do find a key of this sort of shape, um, keep hold of it, because it might fit a floppy drive device. And if you do lose your key, well, at least you have a spare one. The other thing as well is the fact that they might have a sticker on them. Now this is usually sort of like whatever was in here for floppy drives. But again, easy to wash and easy to peel off. 
just stick that over there. Right, that is pretty much it. But again, it's a good storage solution. Again, the other storage solution that I quite liked was um, a fishing box. Strange and unusual, but same as the floppy drives. Anyway, um, I hope this helps. And again, it's recycling a great old bit of history as well. Because again, you're saving the floppy drive storage area. Not necessarily the floppy drive, again. Unless that's got personal pictures or information on, ditch them. Nobody's going to buy them. Again, they're only good as, um, well, coasters really. But again, I hope this helps and uh, happy hunting.